As OpenStack continues its dominance of the cloud infrastructure market, new horizons are opening up. On top of that list is the network edge. Chris, before we delve into architectures and technologies, how would, how would you define the edge? Well, there are many definitions uh, for edge. Uh, it's uh, constantly evolving. Uh, you have uh, the customer premises uh, themselves, uh, and then you have uh, the, uh, the local uh, uh, devices uh, that the telco has deployed, uh, and then you even have uh, the central offices. Yeah. So I think the main thing when we talk about edge is uh, some of the characteristics, um, meaning uh, that we need uh, high bandwidth and low latency, uh, and uh, uh, direct uh, device to device uh, uh, interaction. Is this a bit of a, uh, a, a new environment for telcos? Is it more of a uh, cloud data center type, type environment that maybe telcos are, are used to? Uh, they've been moving in this direction uh, for a while. Uh, there have been a number of devices at the edge and that's uh, one of the advantages uh, that the telcos do have uh, is that proximity to the customer. Mm -hmm. So being able to uh, leverage that uh, and deploy cloud services close to the customer uh, with the low latency characteristics uh, is a competitive differentiator. Now, where does ONAP play in this um, edge-based network architecture? Well, ONAP started uh, from the core uh, and uh, is designed to orchestrate uh, the entire network. Uh, we are working uh, on going down to the edge uh, through uh, several different initiatives uh, in our Casablanca release. Uh, we have uh, an edge uh, automation group uh, that's uh, working on uh, the use cases and the architecture uh, for this. Uh, and uh, the main characteristic is that we need to do hierarchical orchestration uh, in order to uh, uh, deal with uh, the devices at the edge. Uh, so we are putting that uh, into our projects and into our architecture uh, to support the characteristics uh, for uh, edge automation. And obviously this is the OpenStack Summit. Um, where does OpenStack play in this picture? Uh, well, OpenStack uh, is critically important uh, for uh, deploying uh, many of the VNFs. Uh, and uh, so in the edge environment, uh, we uh, do see uh, OpenStack uh, uh, or Kubernetes or uh, other uh, edge clouds uh, that uh, we need to plug into. Uh, so within OpenStack, we have a multi-VIM project uh, that's working on uh, that level of integration. Uh, and OpenStack is uh, one of the big integration points for us. Right, so um, for telcos who are maybe overwhelmed by the, the, the ever-changing nature of, of, of the edge and use cases and open source projects that are emerging at a rapid pace, what should they do? What, what's, what's, their, what's their best strategy for capitalizing on the potential of the edge? Start with the use cases. Uh, we have a number of different groups uh, that are uh, uh, starting up edge initiatives. Uh, within ONAP, uh, we have the edge automation team. Uh, within OpenStack, they're working on an edge working group. Uh, and now we have Acrano and other uh, open source initiatives that are starting up. Um, and uh, it's going to take a little while uh, for all the groups to integrate uh, together. Uh, but in the meantime, start developing uh, and defining and sharing uh, the use cases uh, so that uh, we know uh, what the high priorities are uh, when we target the integration between all the different groups. Great, and just to, to recap, the next ONAP release is Casablanca, is that correct? Uh, yes, we're about to release Beijing uh, around the end of the month, and uh, Casablanca will be coming around the end of the year. Excellent, for now, Chris, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.